Hello everyone, so recently some people asked me whether you could graph multiple varieties of mangoes on your existing mango tree. Uh, you know sometimes you might have a big old mango tree in your yard. 20 years, 30 years, older than that and it take up a lot of space. And you want another variety of mango or maybe two or three. We have so much delicious mangoes. But you don't have space to plant it. Well, it is fairly simple to graft on other varieties of mangoes on your already existing mango tree. As you can see, I up in my Julie mango tree here. Right? This mango tree is almost 30 years old. And um, recently, like last year, I started grafting different varieties. I probably have about at least 8 different varieties of mangoes already grafted on this mango tree. So now I'm going to give you all some pointers on how you could go about doing that, right? So let me show you. Right people, so an easy way to go about doing this would be using the cleft grafting method. But before doing your cleft grafts, you need to prepare the tree. So the first thing you need to do is select a location on your tree where you want to put your new variety or varieties of mangoes and simply cut that branch clean off. After doing that, your tree would start to send out a set of new growth as you could see here and on these pieces you would be doing your grafting. So approximately two months after your initial cut on the tree, you would get pieces as big as these which would be perfect size for grafting. Look in here we have some varieties of mangoes that I grafted recently using the cleft grafting method. You can see where I made the cut on the tree and attach a piece of budwood from another variety of mango here. Another thing I will show you all here is that for different types of mangoes you have variations in the size and shape of the leaves. So this leaf here would be from the original Julie mango parent tree as you can see here. Over here now, I have a don donkey stones mango, known in Trinidad, we know this variety, we call it donkey stones, that was grafted here last year. And another leaf I would show you all over here is a spice mango that I grafted. So you can see the spice mango leaf here. Donkey Stones Mango and the Judy Mango. So these variations would show you all that I have the different varieties existing on my mango tree by using the simple cliff grafting method. So thanks people for looking at my video. I hope it was helpful and useful to you all. Um, we didn't have good weather today, we had a lot of rainfall, so when we have good weather at another day, I'll do an actual demonstration of the cliff grafts on your mango tree. I might do one on back grafting as well. But for now, please subscribe and hit the notification so when I post up any other videos, uh, you'll be notified and you'll get to see these videos, right? I look into do a series of videos on different things people could ask different questions like what they want to see done and I would do videos on these right so for now if you like the video and you find it helpful please share it let others learn something as well as I always like to say knowledge is power so let's share knowledge right enjoy your lockdown we know the country lockdown right now Trinidad and um, occupy yourself, do something, and share your knowledge, share what you learn with others, right? Take care, everybody. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Once I can answer it, I'm going to answer, right? Take care.